Back in ETV. What's up, guys? Welcome to Balcony TV Miami. Thank you for tuning in. We have an amazing band called Calm Bomb. What are you guys playing? Hello, we're playing Kickin' Rocks. All right, it's Calm Bomb with Kickin' Rocks. Let's hear it. <laughs> Cause amigos, white sand, cell phones All these people are here No one really knows It's not a five star It's an open bar And all these broken locks Why don't you kick some rocks? I gotta say, you guys are the bomb. Thank you, and we're not calm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not at all. Um, cool, so let's talk about this real quick, because this song is uh, from this EP, Calm Bomb, right? Yeah, it's the third song on the EP, I Am The God I Fear. Yeah. It's a joke about nihilism, I'm sure no one gets it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man, I love it. I think it's really cool. Um, what would you classify this music as? Well, Nat over here, who's a drummer, said that we are eclectic indie rock on one of our shows. So oh, that's yeah. what we are right now. You know what, Nat? Come here. Come come hang out with us because I know you're comfortable on your throne, but <laughs> come hang out and uh, so we can all talk and have a good time. Hello, guys. Yeah, and uh, let's introduce everybody. You got it. Hey, my name is Nathaniel Spinner. I play drums in Calm Bomb. This is Mitchell Park. He plays bass. And we got Paul Petrack over there, our front man. Yeah. Look at that. Cool. And uh, how long have you guys been together? About two and a half years. We started... Uh, Late around uh, October, September 2015, so a little over two years. You were you playing with Del Pelson, right? Yeah, that is my other band. I love playing with them, play with them a lot. Which band do you like better? <laughs> <laughs> I like the 
I'm gonna skip right past that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he, he likes the chili peppers. That's a that's a that's a great like politically correct answer. <laughs> Um, yeah, so you have a really funny story with this song, uh, Kicking Rocks. Um, there's like a big backstory to it. You guys were working that um, that disaster of a festival, uh, the Fire Festival, yes, right? we were working the Fire Festival. I was doing merchandise, or well, I was going to do merchandise. And then you, <laughs> and I was going to do sound for the pop-up CDJs. It was going to be this great luxury uh, getaway. You know, each ticket was like $1,600 that included a plane flight to Miami. But it turned out to be a complete shit show. It was... Uh, but it was fun, man. We partied our asses off because yeah. all the alcohol that was meant for the guests, I drank it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, the starting lyric to that song is Flamingos, Casamigos, and I cannot drink that shit ever again. Oh. No. <laughs> Can you believe George Clooney sold that for a billion bucks? Casamigos? Really? Yeah. Fuck, no. I didn't. It's crazy, man. <laughs> it's a great tequila, though. But I mean, that's what that's what all the musicians are getting into now is uh, alcohol companies, you know? Wow. They got like, and even football players, you got yeah. Dan Marino doing like rock and roll tequila and things like it's, that, you it's know? It's recession proof. It's the best. Drugs and alcohol will always sell. Always. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool, man. Um, you know, who's, I guess you would say the smartest band on that ticket was Blink 182 because they yeah. canceled because they didn't get paid. They're they the smart paid, ones. So, yeah, they pulled out the day before, so good on them. Yeah, and everybody <laughs> else flew out without even getting a paycheck. Yeah, That's yeah. funny. You said the person that, the uh, lady that was going to pay you, she couldn't because she didn't even get paid. Correct, yeah. It was a bad situation all around, but we got an experience out of it, and, uh, yeah, we got a song out of it. We got a song out of it. So And a logo, a little flamingo on there. Also. Yeah, you know, it inspired a lot, so... At the end of the day, I wouldn't take it back. Yeah, cool, man. Uh, uh, you guys sound great. Um, you said uh, people can usually find you in the Boca Raton area, right? In the Boca Raton area, yes. Yeah. Um, but you, we're go, located. you go around uh, Tri-County, I'm sure, right? Yeah, well, we met at a music fraternity at Florida Atlantic University, so That's we're all around that area. Cool. You know, we, we got a show coming up at Funky Buddha uh, next week, December 16th, something like that. And then, uh, and then Arts Garage, January 19th, yeah. 18th. So word, we got a couple shows coming up. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a new track coming out. Um, some of that new shit I played for you. Yeah. That's yeah. I'm looking forward to playing stuff. Oh like cool, yeah. Um, yeah, he's playing this uh, cool little guitar pick and stuff. I sort of want to show it again, but I feel like, okay. you know, at least a little, at least a little sneak peek. Taste, okay. taste, taste. You know. Stuff. Yeah. That's what I'm getting into. Yeah, you guys are uh, evolving as a band with your sound, right? Yeah. We're trying. Yeah. And now, who inspires you? Oh man, I got so many inspirations. I mean, I want to give a big shout out to too many, too many, too so many, many zoos. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it is a band. It's a good band. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, like, I love Flea's style with uh, the slap picking. I mean, I don't do that too much of that anymore. We used to do a lot more stuff like that. But, um, I don't know. I mean, Victor Wooten's an amazing bass player. But, uh, oh, yeah, Victor was, like, massive, bad. massive. Yeah, he did a Balcony TV Nashville. No, he didn't. Yeah, really? Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're on the same balcony, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Different balcony. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Uh, actually, uh, his book, uh, Music Lesson, or Spiritual Growth, a Music Lesson, A Spiritual Growth uh, Through Music. Mm -hmm. Dude, that, that, that book was so good. It changed my life as a musician for sure. It's a really awesome book. Victor yeah, yeah. Wooten is very inspirational, definitely. He's a really cool guy. Apparently, he hangs out with everybody, does teaches people and really down to earth it's crazy because he's the best yeah. in my opinion no and, and he he seems very humble and grateful which is an amazing trait in any professional musician yeah exactly that's another thing uh dizzy gillespie was known for he was the guy who taught everybody about bebop and stuff they used to go to his apartment uh in, in new york city and they stay there and jam until like 6 a.m and he just showed them all bebop and the crazy thing about that is that charlie parker and dizzy they created bebop in different parts of the country at the same time and then they met in new york they're like holy crap we're playing the same stuff yeah. Together. No, Dizzy Gillespie is my all-time favorite jazz player. I actually grew up playing trumpet. I have a degree in music, and I played trumpet in college. Ah. So uh, Dizzy Gillespie was always a big deal for me. He was definitely my favorite. You ever seen uh, Def Leppard? No, I have not. Well, Def Leppard has a one-armed drummer. Yeah. So if you can learn to play like him, you can play trumpet while you're playing drums. <laughs> oh, man. That's the next step. Yeah. The next step. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. You know? <laughs> Anyways, um... Just make sure you check these guys out. Uh, the only way the rest of the world can see these people is if you vote 
on the video. And if you don't, then you're doing a disservice to everybody else around the world. Yeah, please so, listen to the EP, man. We spent a year on that shit. We put a lot of work into it. Yeah. And it's on Spotify. It's free. There's yeah. really no reason for you not to listen to it. There's... And then once you listen to it, it's more reason to buy it. Yes. Yeah, or come see us live, man. Because yeah, yeah. Yeah. he needs a new tank top. I need a new tank top. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for coming. Um, check us out next week for another uh, great band. And uh, yeah, just keep an eye out for a Calm Bomb. They're awesome. See you next week. Word. Back in ETV.